P2B has been hiding Section 299 of the Constitution. Tunibu does not need 25% in Abuja. Kenya Mo, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified on post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Festus Kanyamo, has spoken about a claim by the Labour Party and its presidential candidate, P2B, that going by the Section 1342 of the country's constitution, AP says Bola Sadamba cannot be sworn in as president because he did not score up to 25% of votes in the presidential election. Section 1342 of the 1999 constitution provides that to be declared president's to be declared presidential winner, a candidate must secure the highest number of votes cast at the election, and it must not have not less than one quarter of the vote cast at the election in each of at least two thirds of all the states in the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. Speaking in an interview with Channel Television, first of Kenya said it is not compulsory for Tunibu to score twenty five percent of the vote in Abuja as Labour Party and P2B claim, and they have been hiding Section 299 of the Constitution. About 27.06 minutes into a video shared on YouTube, Kenyama said, Read Section 134 in conjunction. Like I said, the Constitution must be read as a community. Read it in conjunction with Section 299, which have been hiding from Nigerians. Section 134 is an inclusive provision, a provision that tries to include Abuja as one of the states. What that last phrase in section 134 means is just to confirm to people that Abuja should be calculated along with it. In practical terms, it means that if I need to get 25% in 24 states, and I now get 25% in 23 states and the FCT, what it simply means is that FCT will be calculated as a state so that you have met the requirement. According to section 29 of the constitution, the provisions of this constitution shall apply to the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, as if it were one of the states of the Federation, and accordingly. So, I don't understand. Kanyama is saying P2B hid that part of the constitution from Nigerians. I don't understand. Hid that part of the constitution, Bizibao, Naihulam. <laughs> Good. Now, well, if Abuja is considered a state, then he has win the state of Abuja to become Abuja governor as well. <laughs> okay. Kanyama of Festus, I'll be waiting with that rigging name. Remember there is God. <laughs> Remember there is God in heaven. My own, my own, my own is why is he saying that he hid it? He did it huh. In the 1990s, Kemo was questioning Tunibu's educational certificate. FFU was questioning Tunibu's drug enforcement. But where are our honorable FFK and Kenyamo? Where are your integrities and conscience? And now telling Nigerians that you are more than a cretin. Kevin, that is why you have never won any case in court. Charge and bail lawyer. <laughs> okay. What a shame. When it affects their political ambition, lawyers like Kenima will turn the constitution upside down. I do not believe that a son like Kenima will misinterpret the 25% in the FCT is not important. This is therefore calling on a judiciary to rise above bribe and personal sentiment to set some matters right and deliver this nation. If Obi was declared a winner without having 25% in FCT, I don't think Kenyamo and APC would say it is not important. And that is how this is true. You understand? This is true. I've said it before. If the reverse was the case, people when they talk now, maybe say then they come, they talk, say, then they instigate them. <laughs> if I don't pass instigate, this Kanyamo must be a character. Is Tunibu not a presidential candidate? Must Tunibu not follow the laws of the land to become a president? Why must Tunibu be declared a president-elect if he does not have 25% of votes cast from the federal capital as required by the law? If a president comes to power illegally, will he ever respect the rule of law? Food for thought. Why should Nigeria be known as a lawless country? We need to be patriotic to make the new Nigeria workable. Is Obi fighting for Atiko himself, or is he trying to entertain his followers? What is on ground does not favor you to be president. Okay. I'm sorry to disappoint you first as Kenya that the principal will not be sworn in as the president of this country. No matter a mischievous conversation here, and let it be on the record that there are some members of the lordship that has been there before you 
finish your law school. So caution when you talk. You are not more experienced than them. My own BC, Bola Tunambu and... I mean, first I was getting my Bola Tunambu. What did I even expect? Okay. Ah. Uh, money has blindfolded Kenya more so much that his senses are now like that of a small baby. Oba Tunambu Kabi Esi. Kabi Esi O. Jala Se Igbe Kaji Oriso. Wait. You are around now, can can for we soon open the calabash with total eggs inside. Or by elect and his salmon, Kenyan man. <laughs> God. See, as Nigeria, they carry this people, this man, they do yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Kenyan is a liar. Abuja has the status of a state. For any winner to be declared, he or she must secure 25% of total votes cast in Abuja as applicable to other 36 states. Tunambi is also not qualified to contest on the ground of his criminal conviction for laundering financial proceeds related to narcotics trafficking. DEA agents from the U.S. will appear in the court to testify against him. After rigging and sealing the people's mandate for P2B, God will disgrace Tunambu at the Supreme Court. Well, me, I don't talk my own finish, on so it used be. Instead of calling me a liar, why not go and confirm the paragraph you quoted from the Constitution first? My own is who tell Kenya most than the Haida. Hala know too much. Now God will save us from those bad politicians. All in the name of greed and selfish interest. Because Abuja is positioned this in the United States of America. Abuja is not a state in Nigeria but FCT. Have you ever heard about the governor of Abuja before? Okay. They escaped before, but not now. A winner must have two third votes of 24 states and 25% of FCT votes. You will calculate it this time because there are three parties contesting. Before, we did not bother because only two parties always got the highest. Judges cannot mess up this time as fire with them. My own BC, my Kenyamo and uh, FFK, that then will finally set this country ablaze. I did tell you, not just two of them. Kaima should go and rest. He's not even up to P2B category in all life ramifications. You should thank a star that he has a window of opportunity to talk to P2B because of Nigerian politics. <laughs> We're gonna they calm down. Agree. Okay. Evil genius festus Kenyamo. Tunable needs it beyond all reasonable doubt. Please don't deceive Nigerians. The truth cannot be overturned through your antics. Be warned. My own is I have said it before, keep your emotions in check. Now against such people because Kanyamo and FFK, both of them, they're ready to do anything it takes to make sure that this government favor them. All right, and those not who have come to the end of the news, we say thank you for telling me to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.